What is going on my friends, I am Sully and today I'm back starting my very new series on my channel, it is the one replacing the Symptom Milan series which is now done, apart from the final episode we will have to do, trying to discuss who won, evaluating how the series went for both of us, trying to work out who did better in each scenario and then finalising the winner for that series because it was a competitive series versus Marolan if you guys didn't know and yeah we're just going to work out who won that but the series I am using to replace it is a career mode series it is with Blackburn Rovers and some of you may be pretty confused as to why exactly I'm choosing Blackburn Rovers out of any potential team on the game and it's because Blackburn Rovers is a club I personally have a lot of history with in FIFA anyway because in FIFA 13 which is the best year for FIFA career modes it has been for so long and I doubt FIFA will ever do anything like that again but that was the best year in my opinion the team I made was so good, it was so insane, I won everything with them, I won all the European competitions, all the domestic competitions, everything you could possibly win with a club, I did with Blackburn Rovers. I started from the bottom, no financial takeovers or anything, but I ended up with a team where 8 of the starting 11 players were over 90 rated, and that is near enough impossible to do now on FIFA unless you literally play for so bloody long. And on that career mode, I think I went up to like 2020 something because I still had the likes of Neymar was still playing, Messi was still playing. I think he had like one season left in his contract. Ronaldo had just retired. We managed to get his regen, um, but I did sign three of. I did sign the main three players you'd want to get from a FIFA 13 career mode. That was Messi, Ronaldo, and Neymar. I signed all three of them. I managed to get Ibra's regen, Ribery's regen. The team I made was so insane. And no, I can't see myself emulating that again on FIFA 15. I can't see myself doing that again on FIFA 15 because that literally was from within the first month of FIFA's release to the end, I banged that career mode out. I was back when I wasn't very good at COD and FIFA was literally the majority of the thing I played. And yeah, I just really wanted to start a career mode. It, I, have, I tried one on my channel last year. It didn't go too well. But now I am basically a FIFA channel. I figure it will be received slightly better anyway and it will still be half decent as a series on my channel so yeah we're just going to dive straight in we have five million on the current wage budget um and i mean we have some play i have some players in mind who i want to sign they are bpl sort of young starlets at the moment they're not really used for their teams much um they're sort of in the reserves if that makes sense so they are the potential players i will be trying to purchase one of them is tyler blackett um, one of them is Akpom because I know he is insane. We are definitely going to have to look for a cam because as far as I'm aware, the only cam that Blackburn actually have is David Dunn and he's like 34 years old considering retirement and I mean, who wants that for their team, let's be honest. So we're going to try to pull in a shit ton of youngsters, try to make the best team possible out of this squad and just try to win the championship in our first season, basically get as far as we can in each of the cups. I can't see us winning the cups in the first season. It would be nice just to get a decent cup run in, though, get a decent bit of money in for January, and then see who we can sign then as well. So, we're loading up. We sold good, really. We're going to save over this original Blackburn career mode I started, because I started it yesterday, but didn't play it that much. And, um... It was just sort of to get a feel of what the team, who who was on the team, what the team had, who we could potentially buy. As you can see, we do have to sign a, an attacking midfielder there. Our domestic cup objective is to reach a round of 32, which I personally feel we could do. It's not that difficult to do, and we're expected to finish mid-table. And that is not what we want at all. We want to do a lot better than that. We could sign Manny O'Sullivan. He has the same last name as me. Um... And, I mean, they're pretty realistic signings. They're not necessarily players I want to go for. But, yeah, we have a couple of players in mind. The first thing we're going to do, though, is look at the squad we have. Look at what we can do with this squad and see what is the best potential team we could make. So I'm just quickly going to switch to the formation I always use on FIFA, um, no matter what team I'm using, because it's just the one I feel personally most comfortable with. It's the most balanced, in my opinion. It's the way you keep the majority of the pitch intact so you aren't just getting destroyed. Um, Conway would keep you on Olsen, Spur, Lenahan. We need to put a centre-back on because Lenahan's not even a centre-back. Um, Eastwood can go in goal. He's not our best goalie, but I do know he has talent. Uh, we put Jason Lowe in centre-mid as well. Um, Kill Galong can come on the bench for him. Duffy come on a bench for Evans, O'Sullivan can go there, um, 
King we just brought on and put him in Cam, so we can bring another player on. See, a lot of these guys on the bench will probably end up going out on loan, um, because I doubt I'll use them that much, to be perfectly honest. Uh, like, Lenhan can go out, Green can go out, Songu can go out, Baptiste will probably keep, Taylor will probably keep. Done, we're going to try to sell and offload, because, I mean, he has one season left in him, but we don't really want to keep him for that season. He's just holding up the wage budget. Probably send Mahoney out on loan as well. Raya can go out on loan, because we do have plenty of goalies to go around. It's not like we need him, but it would be nice to get his stats up slightly, so putting him out on loan is probably the best decision. So that is a squad we have. That is a team we are left with currently, and we're just going to look at the potential signings I wanted to make. First off, we're going to try to sign this young defender from the Premier League. He does currently play for Manchester United. He has been played quite a lot this season because of injuries and stuff, and he has shown up quite a lot during the season. I know he is about 65 rated-ish, as far as I'm aware. We're going to look at some players we could potentially trade with him. We're going to keep Hanley because he's young and talented. Um, Spur and Olsen are quite close in terms of rating. I mean, we do have a pretty solid squad, a pretty decent squad. We're going to give you Kilgallon and not a million. We're going to give you like 500k um, for Tyler Blackett. He is a future first team player for Manchester United, which obviously shows some sort of talent within him for him to potentially become a player for one of the best teams in the world so I mean I have foothead open with the young player potential from each of the like top Premier League teams to be honest um, another player we'll probably go in for is this young man here he is another centre mid or centre back even and it is Nathan Ake oh he's not centre back he's left back I mean we'll inquire about him see what Chelsea want for him see what they're willing to accept for him um, who else did we want to go for? We wanted to go. Well, we don't really need a striker. I mean, we could play Josh King Cam. It would still be nice to get a backup Cam because we are at the moment just stuck with Dunn. Um, the player I did want to go for who does play in Cam is this young man here, formerly of Crew Alexandria and Manchester United. It is Mr. Nick Powell. I know a lot of people dubbed him as the new Paul Scholes, but that's quite a lot of pressure to put on a young man, to be honest. 20 years old, I mean, he played for freaking crew. Do we want, alright, we'll scout him first before we inquire, just see what we sort of get out of him. But yeah, he was dubbed the new Paul Scholes. Personally, in the games he played, he played half decent. He wasn't a bad player by any means, but I mean, we've offloaded him since, and we haven't used him that much. They're willing to consider a bid in the region of 1.7 million. I mean, that's okay. We could probably not go that high for him, we'll probably give them another left back for him, we'll give you 700k and who's the left back, Tommy Spur will give you, see what you come back with for that, he is a future first team player as well, he's only 19 years old which is awesome, so like I said we're just going to try to get some young players in, some potential players in, they've accepted for Tyler Blackett, they've accepted Kilgallon and 500k I believe it was, he's going to be an important first team player, we're going to offer him the 6k straight up, and a 4 year contract, but it would be nice to sign some young players to sort of build the best acceptable team, oh they didn't want that offer for Ake, I mean we don't really need a left back, because as you guys could see we have two, um, he would have just been nice to potentially pull in as a young player, being only 19 years old as well, they accepted Blackett is our first signing. We've done it within the first five minutes. We've managed to sign a player. He's arrived at the club. We're going to see what his ratings like, see how he fits into the team. Um, I don't think he's as highly rated as our other centre-backs, but because of his age and because of the fact that we have like, basically just bought him, we're going to use him as much as possible, try to get him as highly rated as possible through the season. We're going to put these players out on loan that we are going to use. I mean, we don't have too many backup players. We do have quite a lot of right mids, quite a lot of left backs, quite a lot of goalies. Um, and we're just going to try to offload the players we aren't using, sell them, maybe put them out on loan. Especially the young players, um, the low rated players like this guy. Green can go out on loan. Mahoney can go out on loan. He's 17 years old. Um, Songu, probably, mm, I don't know, we'll put him out on loan. Um, who else? Anyone sort of below 60 rated, we're going to try to put out on loan. Um, just because, I mean, they're not really going to fit in the team. They obviously have a lot of room for improvement, hence why they're that low rated. 
but a lot of them are quite young as well. We do have quite a young squad here already, and that's what we want to try and build in order to get into the Premier League. We want young talent, young potential, young players who can possibly do very well for us, and I believe we have a scout report being brought back for Nick Powell now, so we'll see how much they want for him, what sort of rating he's at currently. Um, let's talk about international management. That doesn't interest me currently. Um... We've signed him, it doesn't matter. We've signed him. I mean, we'll look at him afterwards. Ake. Okay. We know, we know. Uh, okay, so the final scout report on Nick Powell says he's 68 rated. He's worth 775k. But they do want about 1.8 million for him. So we'll offer them about 1.5. And then we'll offer them done as well. Because, I mean, we're never going to use the guy. He's so old. It would be nice to involve him in a team that could potentially win win some trophies this year in his last season as a player. But, I mean, I really do want Nick Powell. If he's 68 rated, he's already basically the same rating as Dunn. He's at a similar stage, and he's so young in comparison as well that his rating's only just going to go up. And it looks like they've come back accepting that offer. We're going to offer him a 10k straight, four years, important first team player, because he will be that. Because we don't have any other cams. We do have strikers we could play in cam. But obviously that's not ideal. That's not the way you want to be playing this season. So I believe we're just going to end the episode there guys. We've made one transfer. It looks like we may have made two. There we go. We've made two transfers. We've signed two players from Manchester United. Two young players. Two awesomely talented players. That will do well for this squad. We received an offer for Lenahan on loan. We will accept that offer. And that is it for the first episode guys. So if you guys are excited to watch this series and do be sure to give it a big thumbs up i'm excited to bring it to you because i haven't done a career mode for so long and it would be nice to actually upload one for once and try to do well with it so yeah as always if you have enjoyed do be sure to leave a like i've been your boy sully and peace